A big development tonight in the shooting death of nine-year-old Trinity Otteson Smith. Authorities say they have the gunman in custody. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Randy Meyer. And I'm Kelsey Carlson. Trinity was one of three children shot in Minneapolis last summer. The shooting sparked outrage and kicked off a massive effort to find the people responsible. Fox 9's Hannah Flood joins us now with more on the arrest and how Trinity's family is reacting to this news. Hannah? Yeah, tonight I talked to Trinity's dad who said he had just gotten out of a meeting with Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Fry when he heard the news about this arrest. He was there with the mayor working on policies to help other families impacted by gun violence, something he's fighting for in his daughter's name. Absolutely, it's mixed emotions. It's not really celebrating. It's we're looking for justice for something that should have never happened in the first place. For Trinity's dad, Rayshawn, and stepmom, Karina Smith, there's some relief in knowing someone may be held accountable for their nine year old daughter's death. But I think today was one of our, our days that we can actually smile and, and, and celebrate in, in, to a certain degree. In May of last year, Trinity was at a friend's birthday party in Minneapolis, just being a kid, having fun, jumping on the trampoline in the backyard with friends when she was hit by a stray bullet and died in the hospital 12 days later. We can't celebrate any big moments without tears following it right after because a piece of our family is missing forever. Nine months after she was killed, police have arrested 19-year-old Dupree Sharif Robinson, saying he pulled the trigger in a gang-related drive-by shooting, Trinity tragically becoming the unintended target. Her death and the shooting of two other kids last summer sparked outrage and started a months long fight to find the people responsible. We celebrate for Trinity and Trinity's family. Local activist and grandfather of Anaya Allen, another little girl killed in Minneapolis last summer, says this arrest is giving many hope that their cases will be solved. And if this doesn't have, bring a little bit of hope to you, I hope it does because it brings some hope to me for justice for my granddaughter. Justice that the Smiths say they'll continue fighting for. We're, we're going to talk about trying to even pass a uh, trial that may or may not happen, whether this is the person or not. It's it's still going to be justice for Trinity forever. Now, there's still a reward out there for anyone with information leading to the arrest of the people who shot these two other kids last summer, LaDavion Garrett Jr. and Anaya Allen. If you have any information, contact Minnesota Crime Stoppers. Randy. All right, Hannah, thank you. Unions